By the end of this one, you're gonna know the best shampoo for your hair type and how often to use it. Not all shampoos are created equally and what might suit your friend, someone you work with, your boyfriend or your girlfriend might not be the best product for you. So I have broken down various shampoos, I've got them down here, into different categories to really help you fine tune your shampooing experience. And I'm also gonna tell you how often to use it. Now, I'm gonna talk about daily shampoos, co-washes, thickening shampoos, anti-dandruff, volume, shampoo bars, scrubs, repairing shampoos, and shampoos for colored or bleached hair. Now, if you're new to this, you're wondering who I am, then hi, I'm Robin. Please do press subscribe right now. My channel man for himself is full of hair product reviews, grooming, skincare, and fragrance. So hit subscribe, and if you're new, leave me a comment below. Okay, I'm gonna start with daily shampoos. Now, I should say, daily shampoos are a little bit of a contradiction. They're a contradiction because I actually don't think you should be shampooing your hair every single day. This whole video is about you learning your needs, your hair type, and actually what suits you. I will only ever use a shampoo when my hair or my scalp feels like it needs a little bit of extra help. Now this does change seasonally, sometimes my scalp can feel dry, sometimes I do get a little bit of dandruff, so I know what types of product to use. Daily shampoos really are products that are gentle enough to clean the scalp and the hair. Now some of my favourites include the Bulldog, this is the original one. This is really great to lightly cleanse the scalp and the hair without overly stripping it. Another one I really like is Born Alchemist. This is a beautiful brand. It's a skincare brand. They also do body products and then some hair products. And this one not only smells great, but again, does that really super gentle cleansing. Now, I will link all of these down below, so if you wanna check them out, you can do so. And while we're talking about daily shampoos, I'm also gonna mention conditioners just very quickly. So a shampoo will clean the scalp and the hair. Really, they're picking up that dirt, the oil, uh, the product buildup, and they're removing it. Whereas a conditioner will start to put some of that back into the hair. Um, you don't always need a conditioner. It depends what your shampoo is doing. And actually, some products are gonna do a bit of both, which leads me to co-washing. This is the newest type of shampoo. It's actually not really a shampoo. It's a type of cleansing. Now, co-wash comes from conditioning and washing. Really, it's a cream cleanser that's been specially formulated to clean the scalp and clean the hair, but without a lather, so without all that foam. Now, foams come from sulfates. Now, sulfates are surfactants, so basically they lift everything off the scalp and the hair, but sometimes they can do this too well, and they end up stripping your scalp and your hair of natural oils. A co-wash does not do that. And they pick up the dirt and they pick up any product buildup by creating friction. And that friction is done from your hands. So the one I've got here is from Geology, who I am working with on this video. I have 20% off from this product using the code MFH20. I'll link it down below, but this is a really great product. They've got two types of co-wash, but the one that I've got is the tea tree and aloe. Now this smells amazing. It's a really great experience in the shower. There's a slight tingle, but what is really great about it is how good your hair feels afterwards. It's not a shampoo, it's not a conditioner, it's not a two-in-one, there's no sulfates, there's no harsh chemicals, and it really does help to keep that moisture in the hair and the scalp so you're cleaning, but without stripping. And you can use this co-wash in a couple of different ways. You could use it daily, but I would say maybe use it every second to third day. Again, find that rhythm of what your hair and your scalp needs. You'll just go into the shower, wet your hair, get a little bit of product onto your hands, and work it into the scalp and the hair. Adding a little bit more water to the fingers and then massaging it in will help to activate that product. Using your hands to create that friction, pick up the product to then remove it. And you want to be doing that massaging action for about a minute. Then relax, let it do its work for about a minute, and then just wash it off. And it's not only gonna clean the scalp and the hair, but it is packed full of some really great ingredients to keep the hair and the scalp strong, clean, and healthy. In the one I've got, there's tea tree oil, there's aloe vera, there's squalene, and there's a vitamin B5. Now, this can be used by all hair types, but if you're someone with a dry hair or scalp, curly hair or coarse hair, then a co-wash like this could be perfect. Again, because it's not gonna strip it, and it's gonna keep those natural oils in the hair. The next type of shampoo I've got is detox shampoo. Now, a detox shampoo is for removing product buildup from the scalp. Product buildup can cause a smell, it can cause dandruff, and it's just not good for hair health. So, uh, a detox shampoo like this, this is Bumble and Bumble Sunday, I love that name, 
This is Olaplex, this is great for bond building and strengthening in the hair. You wanna be using this maybe once a week if your hair is fairly damaged, or I would say every second week, but again, find that rhythm. And um, this one I absolutely love just because it is gonna clean the scalp really well. If you're using traditional pomades or waxes, then this will help to remove that from the scalp. And into scalp health, then a type of shampoo you could be using is a scrub. I use a scrub maybe every third week, maybe every month. I don't use them that often just because it is an exfoliant, so it's working right onto the scalp, onto that skin, and it's really helping to break down the dead skin and pick it up. Again, very good if you've got dandruff. There's two here. This one's by Christoph Robin. I absolutely love it. It's a sea salt scrub. This one is by a brand called DP Hue, and they create products especially for colored hair. So this is not gonna strip any of that color out if you've got colored or bleached hair. Okay, from the scalp scrubs, let's go to thickening. And this is all about scalp health. As with all these products, great hair comes from a very healthy scalp. Now, this is Nioxin, one of my favorite brands for hair thickening. Now, this really does look at the scalp as an extension of your face, so really skincare for your hair. This is gonna clean the scalp, clean the follicle to ensure that it stays in that growth phase, and it's gonna to help to thicken and add density to the hair. For this one, again, you could be using it maybe twice a week, three times a week, or if you really do need some extra help, they've got a system too for really pronounced thinning, and you could be using that every day, maybe every second day. Now from thickening to volume. And one of my favorite ones is by Sasha Wan. This is the Ocean Mist and after using it, it's like you've had a day at the beach. It fills it with loads of this weightless volume and a slight sort of salty consistency and texture. You can't feel it in the hair, but the hair certainly has this weightless volume. I really like using this before I want to do anything, I suppose a bit like this, anything with big sort of voluminous quiffs or maybe even a pompadour. Um, this is great for sort of normal to fine or maybe even thinning hair. Again, it's just gonna move that volume into the hair and maybe get the eyes out of the scalp. Again, I would say don't go overboard with this, maybe two to three times a week max. Okay, on to dandruff, and it is something that affects loads of us. This really, again, is all about the scalp, and it can be a buildup of product, a buildup of dead skin cells that then start to shed and give you this little white flake. So again, we're gonna look at products that are really gonna help to target and clean the scalp. There's one by Durkos, this is a brand by Vichy. This is really fantastic. Again, really targeting that scalp to clean it and slightly more budget friendly, this one by Bulldog. If you do have dandruff, then you are looking at these more kind of like a topical solution. So maybe using it every single day or every second day. If you're using this and your hair starts to feel greasy or it's really starting to dry out, take that down a notch and maybe go for every second day or maybe even every third day. Now at some point in your life, you may have really damaged hair. Damaged hair from heat, uh, from over-processing it with color, or from using loads and loads of products. Your hair might feel dry, it just needs a little bit of help. So you could use a repairing or restoring shampoo. Now this one's by Kevin Murphy, it's called Restore. You're gonna get it into wet hair and leave for about two to three minutes and then wash it out. And really what this is gonna do is really help to repair that hair by putting moisture and hydration back in. Now, if you do have colored or bleached hair, then you should be looking for a product that's color safe because a lot of shampoos can really strip the color out. All of them, yes, all of them that I featured are color safe, so you should be okay with that. But you could use a specific product for colored hair. This is Maxi Wash by Kevin Murphy. It's also a detox shampoo, so if you are looking for something to detox the scalp, clean the hair, but color safe, this is a really good one. And finally, looking at shampoo bars. Now, these are more prevalent. There's loads of different brands that are doing it. Anything from Head & Shoulders, a real sort of high street budget brand. They've got a couple of them, or Earth Kind. You can see these, and it means you can really sort of travel them. It makes it far easier. And as I say, loads of brands are doing them like this now. So I will link them down below. Do check them out. Also, try out the co-washing. I have absolutely loved it, and I think it's a real game changer for shampoos. Not actually a shampoo, as I've said. Also not a conditioner, but a really great way to cleanse and hydrate the hair and the scalp. Do have that MFH20 for 20% off. But thank you very much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. Really hope you've learned something. And hopefully for you and your hair type, you now know what to do and how often to do it. If you're still new to this, you're still not probably subscribed then, come on, hit subscribe right now. The button is on screen or just below this video. Also, I'll give you uh, more video suggestions in the cards up there. But until my next new video, bye-bye.